A local parents group says it is pleased that county health and education leaders appear committed to having schools open five days a week for in person learning this year. But that group does have concerns about an aspect of the rules under which schools will operate. Channel 2's Dave McKinley has more about their request to revisit Dave and perhaps modify at least one of those guidelines. Yeah, perhaps Mary Alice Wednesday, New York students first changed the rules regarding who needs to quarantine if there's a rare case of COVID-19 in a school setting are over the top, especially if everyone is being made to wear masks. Now, among the mandates announced at a news conference earlier this week is one that says if someone in a classroom or on a bus tests positive for COVID, then any unvaccinated students, and that would include anyone under 12 these days, who was within three feet or any unvaccinated teachers within six feet of the person who tested positive for even 15 minutes, has to go home and quarantine for 10 days. And if there are two cases within 10 days, then any unvaccinated individual in the class, regardless of whether they were in close contact or not, is dismissed for the same amount of time. This is even if everyone was wearing a mask, which the leader of this parents group notes is supposed to offer protection, but apparently doesn't the way the rules are written. And if everyone is wearing a mask, students should not have to quarantine, period. That's exactly right. There has to be some benefit to masking, which is not going home and not being quarantined. If there is no benefit to masking, what are we doing masking? We wanted to ask those and some other questions to Erie County Health Commissioner Dr. Gail Burstein today, but we were told that she was not available to speak with us today. The burden is on schools to determine who may have been in close contact or not with an infected person coming up at six. More about just how they're supposed to do that. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.